right, okay. All right, all right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Sick Minds of Matt and Eric. Uh, my name is Matt, and as always is my I'm lovely co- <laughs> It's Eric. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> it's Eric. <laughs> um, you probably noticed a little bit of a different setup for me. Um, I moved my Pop Funkos back here, and the light is actually on the screen. Uh, that's because I need to get a new power strip because uh, I connected my third monitor. So I'm running trip mods for someone that is a terrible gamer compared to professional gamers. Uh, you, yeah. you know what's funny, though? Like, honestly, I think the third monitor is adding just enough, like, lighting to your face where the video actually looks better. You're right. Oh, God, this tastes awful. <laughs> I need to get a different I, on monitor. the other hand, broke my light, so I'm sitting here in darkness. This is why you could see the massive reflections in my glasses <laughs> on a white screen. Because I'm, I'm just trying to get like the Google home page to like ref just to put enough light on my face. So there's some sort of definition there. Um so I, I'm gonna I have to rant about about two things. One, I'm gonna I'm gonna rant about before we get on to our topic. So Eric, you like Xenoblade Chronicles, right? Yeah, yeah, I do. Did you like Final Fantasy Thirteen? Yes. Okay, that 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 beats my fuck. All right. Um. <laughs> so for the people out there <laughs> that don't like Final Fantasy Thirteen, I know the majority of you don't like it because of the battle system. Now let me just put it to you this way, you little fuckers: if you like Xenoblade Chronicles fighting system but hate Final Fantasy 13s, you have no right to speak. I'm saying it now. Okay. You have no so, right to fucking speak. I know where you're going at with this. But you have to, re like, are you saying that Final Final Fantasy 13 had the best fighting system in Final Fantasy? No, but are you saying Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is not practically the same fucking thing? Or Xenoblades I'm, I'm, in general? I'm not saying that at all. I'm just <laughs> saying... Compared to the other battle systems of the other Final Fantasies, oh, I'm I don't, I don't give a shit about that. <laughs> we all played twelve. Yeah, fuck twelve. I, I <laughs> despise twelve. But now, if I'm saying I hate twelve, I can't really say that because that's pretty much Xenoblade's fucking fighting system. But I'm playing it's Xenoblades for the story. Uh, that's that is the only reason why I'm playing Xenoblades right now is because of the story and the fact that it was sixty dollars. <laughs> You paid sixty dollars. The third the one. one? No, the third one. Oh, the third one. I just like, dude. <laughs> no, the third one. Because like, I'm like, I'm, I'm seeing all these, I'm seeing all these fuckers being like, oh my god, this game is fucking fantastic, and I get into the fighting system, and I'm like, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm pretty sure Final Fantasy 13's fighting system has a little bit more complexity than this one. <laughs> Out of all the JRPGs that you could have started after Soul Hackers, you pick Xenoblade? Yeah, because I, I don't know where to get the Final Fantasy Origin one on the PC. I don't know if it's on the PC. It's just, I mean, we both have Tales of Arise. Oh, that yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll play that. Sorry. Okay. Now I also bought another new game. On with this. Matter <laughs> of fact, hold on. While we're talking, I'm going to go to Steam right now just to fucking download it yeah i um i bought a new game actually and this is probably gonna pop up on the recording real quick oh no my steam's not open and so i'm I'll, let me check my phone for that then instead oh wait dan and them are playing pga tour i would have played pga tour with them who's playing pga tour uh, dan and fucking chris i think it's popped up that they're streaming pga tour 2k21 Oh, I didn't know they... Okay. On PC? Yeah. So, I bought this new game. Um, it has, out of 213 reviews, or 240, it's mainly all positive. Mostly positive. It's called Solstice. Explore a dark world brimming with hidden mysteries, master a diverse combat system, and inhibit dual forces of two sisters in a coming of age dark fantasy story you had me at two sisters wow <laughs> <laughs> but i like i watched some of the videos and it, it kind of like looks like a time kind of like a dark souls-esque game so 
I was just looking up horror games because I'm like, man, this would probably be good to stream. You know, jump scares and everything. Dude. Speaking of horror games, the first thing that I played when I got my... Oh, by the way, I, uh, hold on. I got the VR system. Oh. Right? Got the, where's, the headset. Where's mine? Oh, mine's over there. Um, The very first game I downloaded... I was like, I'm going to see if I can play this in VR. Oh, because no. I, I don't started tell me modding some things. Don't, don't tell me you put Resident Evil. No, no. Resident Evil would have been great. <laughs> I played Alien Isolation. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Holy shit. Why, why, like, why would you do that to yourself? Because I wanted to experience true fear. And let me tell you, it fucking happened. I have to tell you this. I have to tell you the story. So I'm, I got the headset on, right? Clearly, you can't see anything other than what's inside the headset. And I'm just like, all right. I, I hear the alien going around. And I'm just like, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. The alien finds me and attacks me at the same time that my dog jumps on me. And like, oh, it's so real. <laughs> I, can't, I don't know if you can see this or not, but I got fucking, look. Fucking scratch marks and shit from the dog. It was like, what the fuck? Oh, my God, dude. That's hysterical. Oh, uh, my God. Um, so we're going to get on to our real topic. Because after, I'm going to have to have Eric ask, uh, tell me how to mod my headset. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. No, no problem. Uh, so, so my rant about Soul Hackers is going to go into spoilers. So if you haven't been Soul Hackers or not even playing it, but don't care what happens, then continue on. But spoilers, 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 spoilers. All right. So me and Eric beat the game. I looked Good up, game. great game, I looked up how to get the final, like, perfect ending to the game. How to get the perfect ending. And all it says on these websites is that, just answer, I did not, on, like, all the questions that you get asked when you're trying to go find a uh, fig. I did that. And I still got the ending where she dies. So, I do a little bit more research, and a Reddit post comes up. I click on it. You need to have everyone's soul level at 100, and you need to defeat all their level 4s. All level 4 floors. So, once you defeat all the 4th floors, then you can go back and beat Fig and get the true ending. So, fuck all you websites. Fuck all you websites that don't fucking add that. Fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you. So, thankfully... That would, explain. that would explain why I got that ending. So, thankfully, I saved before I defeated Fig. So, I'm going back and doing it all again. Not all again. I'm just going back. and So, my only one that's not soul level 100 is Arrow. So, I'm figuring I gotta finish a couple boss mission not boss missions but some side quests and i'll hopefully i'll hopefully get arrows to 100 but melody's fourth floor final boss is a mind fuck yeah i'm pretty sure that i've seen oh, every God. every demon that i i can encounter and I've crafted all of them in combination that will allow me to create a new demon that I have not discovered. And I still don't have the third one of the special fusions. I don't know which... It, it says that I need, like, a fairy or something like that. I can't remember what it is. Or a, a Magami type. But I'm just like, I, I don't know who it, who it could be. Yeah, I'm only I, at seventy nine percent. There's a special fusion that I can't do, and I'm missing like, uh, I'm missing one that I don't know what it could be. I also, I don't want to do this, but.
But I'm gonna have to craft all the lower level fucking different versions of the the fucking snow little bitch, so I can get the oh, frost. Yeah, so I can get the black frost one. Which one's the black? The king frost? No. No, black frost is the one that. There's a side quest that you have to go back to Hope, not Hope Towers. Um, yeah, Hope Towers, where you originally fight um, the mask dude. I can't think of his name. Iron Mask. Yeah, where you go fight Iron Mask, and that's where you find Kulak or whatever, who is acting as the Black Frost. But Black Frost is just a big fat, pretty much Frosty Snowman, but black. Okay. Dude, I was so happy when you were just like, when you texted me that day. Uh, and you're just like, oh, it's sealed? I was like, fuck, 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 fuck. I like ran to my car because I knew you were really close to figuring out who Iron Mask was. <laughs> and um, I have to say... They did a really good fucking job keeping that a secret. Yeah, I I didn't know who it was gonna be. I had no I didn't clue. See that coming at all. Yeah, when when it since I already said spoilers, there, we could say whatever the fuck we want to say. Um, yeah. When it was Raven, I was like, "What? <laughs> Get out of here! No, it's not. You're, you're aching my chain." I'm like Raven's the coolest dude. He's raising all these orphans. He Figs want into fight him. No more. Like Fig is like, into yeah. him. Like there's no, there's no way. Like you break your Fig's heart, brother. What are you doing? Uh, I mean, oh. now I now you know why she did what she did. But like, yeah, fuck love, man. Fuck it, <laughs> dude. That fight, Fig. The fig fight? Dude, thank God they, like, revive. Th First off, thank God for original flame, because I'm definitely not at the right level for this fight. I might be level... Original flame. The original flame is, like, if all your characters die, it's pretty much an automatic phoenix down for oh, everyone. Oh, yes. You're right. I didn't have to use it for that fight, but I do remember it now. I had to I, use I it for... for I, had to, I had to use it for the first fight. Second fight, I just... It was over. <laughs> once once Fig switched her affinities to fucking lightning and wind, it was it was over because man <laughs> man fucking uh Ringo and uh Saizo just went off on the stupid bitch. <laughs> when Fig split into the four, which was oh like my the, the God. three and the purple, that was the hardest fucking thing. And honestly, once you got the purple one out of the way, because she is the one who uses the reflect, she's like, magic reflect. I Actually, I got I got attacks. by that. I got by that because the only ice attack that, um, what's his name, Arrow had, was one that attacked them all. And the best part about it is that they wouldn't heal because they all healed off of ice. An arrow blocks ice attack, so I just used that, and it it just solved all my issues. Oh well, you lucked out. Uh, they I I could have used magic abilities, and they would have bounced back to the person who was using it, and obviously they would have healed because I have I have them absorbing the elements that they're like supposedly attached to. But it's still annoying because you want to do damage to them, not heal yourself. Also, fuck them for having an almighty attack. Because one of yeah, them, I know. one of them has an almighty attack, and I was like, "What? Heck, 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 no, no, both of them." Sorry, I'm thinking of a different fight actually right now. That's in my head, uh, and it, I think it was on Melody's level. But it's almost the same type of fight, except. Uh, Fig doesn't do an uh, almighty attack that kills everyone, so he does. No, she has one she that brings you all. Something out of order. She which does. I did because I fucked up. She does one that brings them all to one HP. Yeah, uh, she does that after she poisons you. Oh, none of my characters can get poisoned. <laughs> oh well, you didn't have to worry about that. But she did a move to me because I was poisoned. tired of them all getting poisoned. <laughs> 
Does she do blight? Two out of my three. And the two that were poisons were the only ones that could do damage to her because they were weak. So I'm just like, uh, I got revives. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> damage, and I use the other two to revive them. Because yeah. like it's either I cure, they 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 take a little potion and cure themselves the poison, which does not heal them. Well, use the a little bit of damage. See, th that happened to me, kind of, because they did something... I don't know what she did, but... Oh, no, because I... What's his name? Um, Arrow, since he couldn't use any ice attacks, because they... I think they, like, healed off of ice attacks, because none of them were weak against ice. Um, I just used him to cure them all of everything. <laughs> like, if something happened, if, like, for some reason, if one of them got sealed or got, like, somehow got poisoned, I was like, this little bitch that can't do anything, this little bitch, you're using items and saving them. <laughs> I think I ran out of revival beads, too. Then I realized that, <laughs> ready for this, is so, because I don't pay attention to the support moves I get, I didn't realize that Ringo, with the demon I had on her, has a healing move that revives an ally, ally fully. I didn't realize that towards the end of the fight. <laughs> I was like, you, what? I'm a fucking dumbass. <laughs> I was like, son of a bitch. I found out the two most important people in my team were Ringo and Arrow. For me, it was Ringo and Saizo with a splash of Melody. Melody was kind of garbage most of the game for me, uh, unless I really needed a fire, like a fire user. See, I gave her a fire user that had an almighty attack, which in hindsight, I should have switched my almighty runes on, because I have almighty stuff on Arrow, I mean Ringo, and Ringo didn't have a single almighty attack. Ringo had, no, no, because by the end I had switched over. Um, I used the uh, the doppelganger on Ringo. Yeah, I was, was using her. I was using the doppelganger for a while. Such a good fucking person, but the only thing is it uses so much mana that all um, heavy attack on all. Yeah. The uh, heavy electric on all. I don't know. But all I know is that I was really pissed that I got that ending. Um, I just felt bad for Ringo. Yeah. I felt so bad for her, dude. She yeah. seemed so depressed. Yeah. And then she was like, well, time to take care of those kids. Like, you didn't give a shit about them kids. <laughs> you didn't give a shit about she them never, kids. You kidding me? Everybody except Ringo showed more emotion towards those orphans than fucking Ringo did. Ringo was like, fuck them kids. Fuck them she kids. Like, I gotta save the world. I don't got time for this shit. I don't got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. I don't got time for this. Yo, when she, like, touched the uh, little little floppy bird thing, yeah. I was half expecting the bird to, like, open its eyes. Because I was just like, hold up. Because Fig had already made a clone of herself before. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. No. Oh, God, this is terrible. Why would she do this to me? The worst ending. Also, should have just died. <laughs> also, let's just talk about the clear sexual tension that's going on between Arrow and Melody. There's clear uh, sexual tension for that. Nah. Yeah, there, there is. <laughs> dude, like, every... Dude, every single one of their hangouts was just like... I'm like, you guys clearly are into each other. Clearly. Like, just stop, stop dancing around each other. I think it was funny though because they 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 like at first they were like oh we're completely different but they're both stubborn they're they're practically the same person they're just on the other side like on the other team yeah so also also the ending let's discuss the ending real quick so Melody is the leader now of Phantom Society and is it, I, I guess Arrow is the leader of Yadagarasu I don't know if he's the leader but he's still in Yadagarasu. Well, what? Here's the thing. So, but they're like B 
PFS now? <laughs> when I loaded up back like right before I fought Fig, I went to do the Matrixes and Melody's fourth floor when you defeat the fourth floor boss, which happens to be Iron Mask. Really weird. Um, like the original Iron Mask, by the way. Uh, she, at the ending of it, when it does like the whole memory thing, it shows her with an Iron Mask like woman suit and then her putting on the Iron Mask. So like after that, she was freaked out. She's like, what was that? What did we just see? And, like, she was freaking out that she turned into Iron Mask. So I'm wondering if that changes a little bit, ex- the ending a little bit, if you have, like, all the fourth floors done. He's seeing the future. Yeah. It's not even a memory. It's a it's a possibility. Yeah. That's what, that's what, because uh, she asked her, and go, what the hell is that? And she's like, well, I mean, maybe it's a possibility of what is lie in your future. You become the you become Iron Mask and become the leader of um, uh, the Phantom Society. And she, and she like, kind of freaked out about it because, like, she didn't want to do it. So it makes me wonder if, like, the ending will change. I just feel like there wasn't enough to get everybody to 100. I got people pretty close. They were up in, like, the high 90s. So I have two of them well above 100. And arrows at ninety five. So, I I believe when you finish some of the major side quests, you get more hangouts. And I still have I still have one more DLC mission that I need to finish, with Nina or Nina, whatever the person that girl is. Um, and she's like the last lost number, and I think one of the interactions I'm hoping will be an arrow interaction where I just boost him over a hundred because I want to get the true ending. <laughs> it suck if also I need to level up to get Thor. One... What? I need to level up so I can get Thor because oh. the lightning person that I have on, on uh Ringo, she... <sighs> She's weak against all melee and shooting attacks. And of course, what does Fig do? What does Fig do? All fucking shooting attacks on you. Stupid bitch. I think she would do whatever your weakness is regardless. I think she just knows. Well, the great thing is, is that, you know, uh, Saizo has no weakness. <laughs> Literally, my Saizo... The only thing that can do little bit, like little damage to him is shooting attacks. And that's only like normal damage too. It's not even like weakness or anything. He blocks all melee's attacks, reflects all magic attacks. The oh and almighty attacks will do damage to him. Yeah, almighty sucks. And then I realize that conditions suck in this game. If you get a status condition in this game, it's fucking over if you can't kill everybody within that turn. Yeah, bomb. But I think we discovered that there is an item that gets rid of bomb. I fucking... I wasn't even, talk- I wasn't even talking about bomb, but yet bomb was one of them. But yeah, the uh, Lord's Water or whatever uh, gets rid of bomb. I discovered that because I'm like, there's got to be something that I have that gets rid of this because I'm, I'm sick and tired of dying from bomb. And then I did. Just boom. <laughs> oh, my God. That man, that game. It was and good. I, honestly, we're going to just be jumping right back into it at the end of October because that's when Persona 5 Royal. Yeah. Um. I. Okay, you know what? Let's give let's because we're at the twenty five minute mark. Let's give our rating on Soul Hackers two, and then just start talking about like our upcoming gaming schedule, and then. Okay, let's go. We'll we'll do this properly. Let's go with characters. I I liked most of the characters. Honestly, I liked all the characters. I mean, Arrow would have been better if he just would stop missing for me. Just gonna throw that out there if you would just stop. Well, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not talking about gameplay characters. I'm talking <laughs> about like the actual, like their story, their backstory, and stuff like that. 
I honestly, so, I, if I had to say if anyone had a weak backstory, it might be Saizo, I think. Yes. I do believe Saizo is the weakest link. But he could have had the coolest fucking backstory because I really liked Ash. Yeah. I really wish we could have gotten one more person. I really do because I feel like Ash would have been a badass tab on the team. Right? So I don't know. I feel like... I feel like Ash would have made a more interesting story Especially... than Saizo. And hear me out, right? Like, this is what I feel like they could have done to make the story better. You find out Saizo is in love with Ash very early. Like, it's part of the reason he died, right? And then he comes back and he does this thing to, like, rescue Ash to not be in the Phantom Society or whoever anymore. But he dies again doing it. And now Ash is in your party. So it basically it switches out Saizo for Ash. Okay. What I think they should have done. So have you done any of like the side missions with Nina or whatever her name is? Nah, I haven't done any of the side missions. I really really I was so into the story that I was just like just rushing through it. Okay, so Nina eventually turns into a support character, but only for her missions. What I would have loved is for Ash to turn into the support character. Like, she's there, she'll help do some attacks on that, like on the enemies, or she'll do support moves for you or heal you. Um, because, like, in Persona 5 Royal, you get a character that does that. That's strictly, like, just support. Like, you don't use them or anything, but they're strictly support. Like, I would have loved that for this but i guess they also want to kind of like not want everything to be exactly the same i suppose so i'll give i'll give the characters a 4.5 out of 5 because of size those weak backstories backstory i will give it a 4 out of 5 i do like arrows i like everybody except for Sizo. Yeah. Especially, um, like, the development of Fig. Like, her development was out of this world when it came towards, like, the ending of the game. Like, they really turned it on. In my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, four out of five. Saizo's was weak. There was really no reason for him to be part of the team. I yeah. Think the, an body. Yeah, and that's when he became, like, the independent contractor and he he was doing both sides and then he apparently retired but he was still going it, it honestly would have been better had it just been like fig there instead of size <laughs> yeah i could see that but yeah okay graphics um i loved everything about the graphics except the weapon designs for, for your team specifically. I do agree that the lack of weapon variety, like, it hindered it a lot. Uh, but, like, what do you do at that point? Because the whole thing is, like, you have this one thing, right, and you upgrade it. But I feel like the upgrades should have made the weapons look a certain way, or they should have been some sort of, like, customization. So here's the thing. So I don't know if this is like this in the Shimagami Tensei's games because I haven't really done a full dive into them. Um, but in Persona 5 Royal, if you get a new weapon, like buy a new weapon, that is now the weapon. It's a different look. You can attach it. And it's a different looking weapon, different looking gun, all this and that. In this game, there's none of that. You're just upgrading your weapons. And when I tell you, that your parties, except Saizo's, is the most basic looking fucking weapons ever. And some of them look like a fucking child drew them. And the only one that I'm saying that about that looked like a child drew, drew them was fucking Ringo's. Ringo's weapon design is probably the worst in the game. I, I will, agree. I will not stop fighting this hill. Uh, like, it literally looked like someone went, yes, this little. This little rectangle right here, that's her sword. This is going to be her sword. I feel like... She could have had... I do like the anime style. 
Oh, the anime and style is great. No problem with it. But it nothing about this game screamed next gen or even current gen. This does feel like PS3 era technology. You know what I mean? Like I will I will a- say I will say the ending graphics like when you're going to find Fig kind of like made it like PS4 graphics for me because the background and the scenery was definitely a lot better than a lot of the stuff that we saw. The bone area? Yeah. Yeah, but like you had to go through the whole game before you got to that. And before then, literally it was just a train station. Like the like you know what I mean? Like everything was very bricky and laid out. And I I was expecting more because the very first scene you're on a rooftop, the uh east shopping district or whatever. It looked yep. like a rooftop and looked really fucking cool. And I was just like, I understand why this setting is the way it is, but every dungeon is basically that same exact thing, but shaded differently. And yeah. I know the Shin Megami Tensei games and Royal, like Persona Royale and all that, it always has that same mechanic. It always had it, it's always fucking been there. But I also played Shin Megami Tensei 5 on the Switch, and it's slightly different. They try to go in a different direction. So I figured with them making this game on very capable hardware, not saying that the Switch is not capable, but like, you know, PC, PS5, very capable hardware that they would try to use some of it, and they didn't. So yeah. is it bad? No. Is it the most amazing thing I've ever seen? No, but I can't I can't generally give it more than like a three out of five. I think I'll it's give it a average. I'll think I'll give it a three point five, mainly because some of the details that they do put in is pretty cool. Like I do like how the bar looks and everything. I also do like when you get all the stacks up with your demons and it just turns into a fucking different world and then a spirit bomb happens. I think that's pretty cool. But besides that, it does look like it was made for what was supposed to be for like a PS3 Switch and not something that was for like a PS4, PS5, Xbox, whatever it, number they're at it, right now. Here's the best <clears throat> analogy that I can give. It seemed like they were still making it for like a 3DS but nobody told them that the 3DS no longer existed. So they were just like, <laughs> like, wait, what? <laughs> All right, well, let's just fucking port it over. You know what I mean? Yeah, it kind of, um, yeah, I agree with that. It feels like it's a port over game, actually. Yeah, that's a great analogy for it. Like, it feels like a port over game. For graphics-wise, for graphics-wise, I will say that. For graphics-wise, yeah. it feels like it's a port over game. Because... Man, dude, I feel like if Atlas just finally tapped in to, like, the next-gen potential, they might have a lot of Game of the Year candidates if they did. Or just some animated stuff. Like, the ba- the movements are so basic. It, it honestly feels like they just grabbed the stock Unreal Engine or whatever engine that they were using assets, and they didn't modify them at all. But it is what it is. I love Atlas. They're doing this shit on a budget. I mean, should they really be on a budget anymore? Like, Persona 5 Royal, how much money did they make off of that fucking game and still milking it? Yeah. But, what? I mean, Elder Scrolls, you know? So, like... Yeah, but they, fuck, what was the last time... What, is Elder Scrolls Skyrim, even making a new game right now? <laughs> no, but like Skyrim and, and Grand Theft Auto Five. How many times are they going to remake that shit? Like, <laughs> um, probably the, at, probably now after the you know the Grand Theft Auto Six leak, we're probably going to get another Grand Theft Auto Five. So. Yeah, probably. <laughs> buy Grand Theft Auto Five, get the demo to Grand Theft Auto Six. <laughs> yep, there it is. There it is. The only way you can get it, guys. <laughs> oh my God. Um, story. What do you give the story? Um, story. I will give this a four out of five Um, because while not perfect, there was enough times where I've literally talked to you and just said, what the fuck? I'll Um, give, yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) There was a lot of moments where we were like, what the fuck? Like my last text to you was with the Melody fourth floor and I was like, 
bro, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, so here it, it does this roller coaster of a story, right? Because you're just like, okay, generic, you know, oh, I got to save the world type of thing. <clears throat> and then Iron Mask is the bad guy. Millity sleeping with Iron Mask? The fuck? That piqued my interest. <laughs> we were just like, we we're like, hold up. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> uh, and then, you know, you meet some people. And then, what was the next one? Because I feel like there were a lot more before the, the reveal of who Iron Mask was. But there were some, uh, some things where it just felt bland. And then a spike of, whoa, 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 whoa. Back up? <laughs> Tell me that again? You know what I mean? Reroll the footage. Reroll the footage. Over I need and to... <laughs> over and over again. It, I mean, it, it, I think... where... Like, you, most games that you play, at least I feel like most games that I play, I can call what's going to happen in the story before it actually happens. I may not know every detail, but I'm like, nah, this isn't the end. Something else is going to happen, and, you know, we're going to continue on. But I, I, the only time that I ever had that feeling was with Fig at the end when we went to go fight Raven. No, I feel... I, I called it. I fucking knew. I was just like, I, I, Fig was there, and I was just like, we're gonna fucking kill this guy, and she's gonna come and try to soul hack him. And the only thing that I got wrong was I thought that he would actually come back. Yeah, I didn't. The I think the whole um, the arrow with M Mangetsu was a kind of a bit of a shocker. Like when they got when yeah. he finally unlocked his memories, and you're like, oh, oh, and then he, cause he has the covenants, he can see, and then he remembered everything with Raven, and like he, I, I'm guessing like with those memories unlocked, he knew Raven was Iron Mask, and then he got it confirmed with when he saw the covenants. I guess covenant users can see other covenants, by yeah. the way, that because was, that wasn't. That was they didn't. They didn't. Know, they never mentioned that in the beginning. That other covenant users could see other covenant users. No, they didn't mention it in the beginning. They mentioned it after, after, a couple of episodes of Sizo with Sizo. They mentioned it like in the um, subway after you find what's his name's body. Right, they're just like, oh yeah, covenant users can see other covenant users. Like, yeah, it would have been fucking helpful to know. <laughs> yeah, right. That would have been great <laughs> to fucking know. Are you shitting me? Also, the but fact that you know, like, who should have known that shit and said it, Milady or Sizo, and that neither one of them fucking <laughs> mentioned it. Neither one of. Okay, hold on. So wait, did did Arrow have two covenants then? No. Or did he just he die just to die? That was sealed. So and if he just stayed dead, sealed. we would have been fine. If he just stayed dead, we would have been fine. That okay. would have been the end of the game. That would have been the end of the game. Put the, roll the fucking credits. There it is. The end of the game. I did. <laughs> I just did. I literally just did the end of Jones's. Because Arrow dead, it would maybe after his body decomposed, it would have been unsealed. If we would have done absolutely nothing, I like, think the end of the world still would have happened, right? Because the other covenant is a mimic of all the other covenants, and nobody would have been there to stop him. So when we actually killed Zenin, yeah, but it's just a mimic. Yeah, but it's it mimicked everything pretty fucking good except passing on to another user. I'm just saying, I think I just Indiana Jones did. Roll the credits. Roll the credits. I'm just saying, there's five of them, fucker. You're telling me five. All of them were in Japan? Yeah, right? All <laughs> of them were in Japan. That's it. Stories of three now. <laughs> um. I will say I did enjoy the voice acting. Voice acting was good. Very good. But I, you have to... 
the thing that was annoying about the voice acting and thank god that you told me is that you have to wait for the text box to catch up before it move on to the next one and sometimes the voice acting was faster than that text box now yeah. i managed to tell you that there's a change you can just change it to it saying like instantly but then what happens with the instant one is when you actually do and there's very it's very rare but they're still there when you do get a story that does not have voice acting it's gone <laughs> yeah and it's gone like it's too fucking fast yep. and then you gotta hit the start button to slow it down and then you forget the next time it's actually like speech so i feel like they should have a system where if it's voice acted you you know it just plays just plays through and just have the text there and if you decided that you need to read you can pause it to read it yeah but anything that's not voice acted don't auto do that just let us click through like a page yeah i agree with that that was that was really annoying um what else can we can we okay voice acting yeah what, what do you rank it um not the like best not the worst i want to be generous with this one and say four out of five as well i'll say four out of five because one um Zach Aguilar is voice acting in this, and he is uh, Arrow's voice actor. So if you if you watch Demon Slayer dub, you're gonna hear Tanjiro's voice. So I think he's Which a phenomenal. Which throws you off? It throws you off once you finally realize it, and that was me because I was through the whole game. I'm like, his voice sounds very familiar to me, <laughs> and I finally had to go and look it up, and it was Zach Aguilar, and he voices Tanjiro in Demon Slayer. So yeah, I, I at one point I found myself saying Kimiko, and I was like, "Why did I say that?" <laughs> <laughs> um, I will say I don't recognize any of the other voice actors or actresses, um, like voices, so they might have changed it up a little bit for me yeah, not I to. Think re- they did fine. Yeah, they don't. They don't need to all be like top notch celebrities. They yeah. did good. I I enjoyed it. I thought they did well. I'm I'm and, always a very I'm very supportive of voice actors and actresses and dubbing and stuff. So, so my overall score for this game, I mean, it's a four out of five. I know uh, I gave one a three, like one of one of the top of the graphics is the three, but graphics at this point, they don't mean nothing, right? Because I can't go back and play some PS One games because of the way they look now. But they don't mean as much as the other things. I can, I can, I literally did not care that it looked like a port over to this system because of the rest of the game. So, with that said, I do believe it's a four out of five. If you're a fan of JRPGs, pick it up. I'm, I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna be a little, be a little crazy here. I'm gonna give it a four point five out of five. Because I did give it a 4.5 at one point in the very beginning when we were talking. Um, one of the main reasons is you're going you're gonna to put hours into this game. You're going to put hours into this game. It is an Atlas game. Atlas games are known for, like, you won't even realize how many hours you put into it. I can tell you right now, I think I'm at, like, 62 hours in this game. Oh, uh, yeah, I was up there. I, I do believe there was one day, though, I just forgot to fucking turn the game off and came back in, and it was still... There. I did that for like 30 minutes. I did that for like 30 minutes. I will say that. But just um, like, even if you minus those 30 minutes, I'm still at like 61 hours of this game. It's a great world. I do think that all of these games are intertwined. I think they're at different points or different, maybe the different points in time or different locations. But it's yeah. all one interconnected universe. So you know I, mean? I yeah I think. So from what I looked up, Soul Hackers is part of the Shimagami Tensei universe. So it was Persona. It's all yeah. one universe. So I think I think you said it. I think Persona is before the apocalypse. So I think it's before Shimagami Tensei's games. Because Shimagami Tensei brings you into a world that's. That's pretty much apocalyptic, apocalyptic, 
apocalypse. Yeah, it's supposed to be like a mirror version of Earth, but then they give you clues that saying that like, no, this is your future. Yeah. Whereas Persona Five does, um, well, Persona doesn't do that. So I feel like Persona is before Shimagami Tensei, and I think Soul Hackers is after Shimagami Tensei. If that makes sense. You think it's after the apocalypse? Yeah, I think it's after the world gets rebuilt. Bro, they have machines oh, making. They bro, they have machines making pizza. I mean, we have machines making pizza. Yeah, but I'm talking about robotic arms and everything making pizza. Granted, it is Japan. They are very technological right. advanced. So I think... I mean, yours makes sense. But I also think that this is, like, right before the apocalypse. Okay. Like, like so moments you're saying, before the apocalypse. So you're saying, like, I, Persona, I, Soul Hackers... Mm-hmm. Shimagami Tensei. I'm thinking, yeah, Persona. Soul Hackers is like at that point. Yeah. And then Shin Megami Tensei after. Okay. I think either one of our theories could work, to be honest. The only way we could yeah. get it confirmed is if an Atlas employee wants to do our podcast and comes and talks to us. I know, which would be great. I'm going to um, add Atlas and be like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in all honesty, I would love to see an Atlas or a Shin Megami Tensei, like, MMO. But, like, I lo- also would love to see a bunch of different types of MMOs. Mm-hmm. But this one would actually be very easy to do because I feel like the engine is already complete. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because we're all familiar with it. Well, I mean, we we're getting a know... League of Legends RP- MMO, so. I know. Uh, there's no- there's never say we're never. Just, like, like, we're going through... I know at one point there was a Shin Shimigama Tensei on a online MMO, but they closed all the servers. There's a Dragon Quest one. Then. There, there's a Dragon Quest one. I've never played one. that one either. Well, but it's they, coming they to the... They closed down the servers. They closed down the Shimigama Tensei servers because it wasn't popular, but that was also before they released Persona and got all these new people and all these new IPs. So, like, I feel like now, if they were to try to do it, they'd probably be more successful. Like, yeah, I mean, maybe. Um, I mean, Dragon Quest Ten offline is going to be heading over to the States, so that might eventually go live. But, yeah, we, we might begin the Dragon Quest MMO, because Dragon Quest Ten is the MMO. So there there's potential. There's potential for it to happen. Um, I will definitely tweet at <laughs> Atlas about our podcast and be like, come on, boys. And girls, come on, come on, come on to our podcast and our measly views and help us boost our ratings and stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. So your overall score, 4.5 out of 5. Mine, 4.0. Um, check out the game. It's really good. The next game that I'm going to be playing is Tale of Arise. Uh, even though I downloaded uh, Yakuza. Oh, I forgot the rest like of the Like a dragon. Too. I downloaded the Yakuza game. Again. Like a dragon? Like a dragon. There we go. And then I started playing it, and I was just like, oh, yeah, this guy really is a fucking idiot. I don't want to play this. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, that's how I feel about that. Like Eric said, I'll I'll be jumping on Tales of Arise, too. I will also be playing that. Because you guys just love us talking about just video games and us um, going through and playing them. Um, at the same time and talking about them. Whereas you guys did not give a shit <laughs> about us talking about the state of play in Nintendo direct. Uh, you still pr- brought some views to it, but nowhere near as much as what our soul hackers one got us. So we'll be talking about tales of our rise on our next one. Um, I will also be going through Xenoblade Chronicles three. I'll be playing that too when I'm not playing Tales of Arise, and I'll probably be playing the Solstice game, too, that I brought up. So that's three games. Um, I will Hold say... On. What? I feel like, do I have something called Solstice? I will say this. If we do move to Dragon Quest Eleven, I'm not fucking restarting the game again. No. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. We really should go through and play all that what was the other games that we got like there was tales of arise and there was another one like 
I mean, Shin Megami Tensei yes. Five. No, 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 that came out for PC around the same time. Uh, Scarlet Nexus. Oh yeah. Well, I have that on the PlayStation Five, so I would have to start that back up on the PlayStation Five. All right. So after Tales of Arise, I might try out Scarlet Nexus again, depending as long as nothing else comes out. Well, no, we no no. Okay, depending on how long Tales of Arise is uh, takes us, um, maybe Scarlet Nexus will be the next one. But if it's not, it will be Persona Five Royal. Granted. Granted, I technically can just go beat the game right now on my PS5 because I'm at the ending of it, but I will be replaying it again on the PC. It's 4K. It's 4K, <laughs> and I fucking love Persona 5 Royal. I will say this when it comes to Persona 5 Royal. Uh, fucking look up the answers to like everything. It, it's just going to make your life so much easier. Especially when you want to get the perfect ending. That's also the same thing with the Persona 4. Persona 4 Golden. Yeah. The, the, the tests. The school tests. Yeah. It's fucking luck. It's well, luck. Like, it's the school test and then, like, the answers that you need for your confidants and stuff. Honestly, it'll make your life easier just so you can get that perfect ending. Because, yeah. Also... Persona just loves harems. Just gonna throw that out there. Just loves them. Loves having harems. Yeah, well, you know. So yeah, I think uh, you know we're coming up on fifty-two minutes. We talked a lot more about Soul Hackers than I thought we were actually going to because we went into the ratings. It was at twenty-five minutes, and then we took us twenty minutes to talk about it. So I think. You should definitely pick up Soul Hackers. It's fantastic. I enjoyed it. Uh, if you love JRPGs and turn based, there you go. I don't. I don't think Atlas will ever stop doing turn based style games. So just focus on those, everyone. Do you have anything else to say, Eric? Yeah. Be excellent to one another. And party on, dudes! All right, you guys all have a wonderful weekend. See you all later.